Hi, welcome back to our channel. I'm Caitlin, or Katie, and I'm Steph. We are a married lesbian couple from Vancouver, Canada, and we are the creators of Let's See the World. We put out a new video every Friday, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. We just celebrated our five year wedding anniversary and this one was extra special because of all the things that Katie did. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video and we can't wait to share it with you. Yes, our anniversary was at the end of December and I had been planning something for most of last year <laughs> and it was really difficult to keep it all from Steph and I'm so happy that it's now all just out in the open so we can talk about it. <laughs> The big surprise was an amazing proposal that Katie set up for me and she asked to take my name which was absolutely amazing. We we're going to tell you all about how she planned it and how she pulled it off. Everything was incredible. I had decided last year that I wanted to be the one to plan our five year wedding anniversary. Steph planned our engagement. She was the one who proposed when we got engaged back in 2014 and ever since then I've always wanted to plan something really special for her. So I told her last year that I was going to plan something so she knew that there were going to be some surprises. It helped me keep it all a secret because she knew that there was something coming but she didn't know what it was going to be. Yeah, we are together all the time. We see phone notifications pop up all the time. So <laughs> knowing that there was going to be some surprise, I knew not to look at things. I knew that to the only avert my eyes when there was a text message. Yeah. I was pretty good about that because I definitely didn't want to spoil any surprises. Yeah, that was the only way I could do it because Steph is notorious for figuring out surprises and secrets before she's supposed to. And I knew it was going to be really hard to plan something without you actually finding I out. I should note that I don't try to. No. I am just very observant <laughs> and I figure things out and I don't mean to and I always feel awful when I do but yeah, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> Partway through last year, I decided that I was going to propose to Steph. I knew that that was going to be the big surprise for our anniversary, but I also wanted to plan a bunch of other little surprises around that surprise so that she would think that those were the surprises for the anniversary and the actual proposal would catch her off guard, which I think it did. Yes, she was very sneaky and I was completely surprised. <laughs> we had talked for a long time about doing an anniversary photo shoot with our wedding photographer and I think that's something we talked about back when we got married. So we knew we were going to do that. It's really the only thing I told her that we were going to do was on the day of our anniversary, we were going to do a photo shoot with Sarah Rogers, our wedding photographer. So I had planned with Sarah how I was going to execute the proposal. So she knew and she was helping me and all I told Steph was that we were taking photos but she didn't know where we were taking photos. She didn't know anything else about it. Right. Trying to plan a location of where I was going to do it was tricky because with COVID last year, I really had no sense of what things were going to look like in December but I did figure that shooting at a hotel would probably be the safest option and something that would actually be possible and within the restrictions. So I really wanted to go back to the hotel where we stayed when we actually got married and we have a lot of our wedding photos there. It's called the Victorian and it's this beautiful hotel in downtown Vancouver. It's a historic building, it's over 100 years old and it's just gorgeous and I really wanted to take our anniversary photos there. So in order to make this all happen, I had a lot of people helping me and kind of secretly working behind steps back to make it all happen. And so I had arranged with the hotel a two night stay for both of us and then also to shoot in the hotel on the day of our anniversary. So that was probably the first surprise that Steph didn't know about. So the day before our anniversary, I told her that she had to pack her bags for a two night stay and she didn't know where we were going. And then we headed to the hotel and it was so nice to relax there for a couple days. Yeah, right after the holidays, it was really nice just to have a change of scenery. And since we've been at home all fall uh, and winter, it was just nice to be somewhere different, even if that was, you know, five blocks away. <laughs> So 
So the day before our anniversary, we got to the hotel and that was kind of the first surprise for you. And then I think the second surprise was dinner, which I was really hoping to take Steph out to a restaurant that we've been dying to go to. It's in our neighborhood and it's a fully vegan restaurant that just opened this year, I think. Um, unfortunately, with all the restrictions, we didn't feel comfortable going in person for dinner, but we did arrange to have a really nice takeout meal that we had in the hotel and the food is amazing and hopefully that was a nice surprise too. Yeah, the restaurant is called Mila Plant Based and I've really been wanting to try their food for a while and it was so nice to finally get a chance to try it. The food was amazing, it was so good. and it was such a lovely dinner. So that night after dinner, I gave Steph what I told her was her anniversary present. I wanted her to think that all of the surprises were kind of out in the open now so that the next day she would think we were just taking photos and that was it and that she would be caught off guard with the actual big surprise that I had been <laughs> focusing on. So for her anniversary present, I reached out to her family members all over the world and some of her oldest friends and closest friends and got them all to send me video clips wishing us a happy anniversary. So I had like a 10 minute long video of just some of the most important people in her life wishing us well on our anniversary. And we just sat and cried and watched it and I think it was so sweet. Yeah, it was incredibly <laughs> special. Some of my family members over in the UK who are in their 80s, um, I don't even know how you got videos of them, especially during a pandemic. It's not exactly easy to ask uh, an 85 year old to film a video and send it, but uh, it was amazing. And it was, it, it was so heartwarming to see everyone's faces and hear their messages and it was really lovely. That was probably the hardest thing of everything I had to plan. That was probably the hardest thing to execute because I was communicating with so many people in so many different places and that was why my phone and computer were definitely <laughs> off limits and stuff wasn't allowed to look at any of it. I also don't do any of our video editing and don't know how to do that. That is my job. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew I was going to need someone to help me put it all together. So our friend Jody edited it for me, which was amazing and I appreciate it so much. And it, Thank yeah, you, Jody. it worked out really well. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> so that first night, I think I was hoping at least that you were thinking that the surprises were kind of over and that was like the big anniversary surprise that I'd been planning. Yeah, definitely. And then the next day was a sneak attack surprise. I had no reason to believe that there was anything else coming and she specifically said all your surprises are... All your surprises are not. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The next morning is when we had our photo shoot plan. We got up and we had a nice breakfast. We ordered some breakfast in and we just had a really relaxing morning and it felt really nice to just have some time together knowing that all the surprises were done. <laughs> I think you were relaxed and I was so nervous on the inside. I remember just wanting everything to go perfectly and I had never planned something like that before. I know from experience that planning a proposal of any kind is really nerve wracking because yes. you just want everything to go according to plan and so I understand why yeah. you may have been nervous. Yeah, I was. I think that morning you were really relaxed and I was still very high stressed just wanting everything to go perfectly. Yeah. Our photographer got to the hotel and we started off by shooting in the room. The rooms at the Victorian are just absolutely beautiful. Our room in particular had two big bay windows and lots of cool spots to take mm -hmm. photos, so we definitely utilized that. From there, we headed to a really beautiful staircase and hallway in the hotel that is actually where we did our first look on the day that we got married. So that is where I wanted to do the proposal and I figured the only way I could make it happen without you suspecting anything was by recreating our first look. After we got to the hallway and we started shooting our photographer, Sarah, which we had planned in advance, I had her suggest that we recreate our first look so that Steph didn't think I was up to anything. <laughs> so she positioned Steph in the corner facing away and then had me walk down the stairs and come up to her and that was when I went and grabbed my secret little sign that I had been stashing in a bag and I got down on my knee. <laughs> At this point, I had not suspected anything, but I will say I was standing there for a suspiciously long time. <laughs> so the idea kind of creeped into my mind that maybe she was up to something behind me. <laughs> and I thought for half a second it might be some sort of a proposal, but I didn't actually know a proposal of what. So um, 
I did kind of figure it out, but at the very last second. I don't mind that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually you turned around and saw the sign and your reaction was just... I mean, I think the photos <laughs> speak for themselves. There were a lot of tears. I completely wrecked my makeup. Um, <laughs> I love that you did what I did when you proposed to me, which was got down on your knees and hugged me. That was what I did when Steph proposed to me on the street in New York. I got down on my knees and hugged you and we just stayed there crying for what felt like so long, but it was probably only a minute. <laughs> and that's what you did. Yeah. 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 It was a very special moment. It was incredibly special. <laughs> it was so special and I'm so glad we got the photos of it that we did. You know, to have it documented like that is is amazing, and we'll be able to look back on these photos forever. Yeah, Sarah did such an incredible job, and I can't thank her enough. I was so just like stressed and nervous about making it all happen seamlessly, and it just it couldn't have gone better. And it's, yeah, I'm so happy. And Sarah's a very calming presence, so I think that helped yes, as well. that's true. She was so relaxed and so chill, and it really evened out my like stressed out energy. <laughs> After we cried off all our makeup, <laughs> we had to go back to the room and do some touch-ups because yes. I, I mean, I was definitely a wreck. You lost your lashes, yeah. redo the foundation, it was all. Yeah, but we still had more photos to take, so we had to get it together, had to make <laughs> things work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really wanted to do the proposal partway through the photo shoot, so there was still plenty of time afterward to celebrate and take photos celebrating, and I'm really glad that we did that, even though we were a total mess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the photos we got after that were incredible they're some yeah. of my favorite of all time so I'm so yeah. glad we did it the way we did yeah me too yeah so after we got freshened up we headed out to the fire escape behind the Victorian Hotel which we actually never shot there on yeah. our wedding day I don't know why but it's beautiful and it was freezing cold and we were tiptoeing around in our little heels on the staircase and it was <laughs> they were not easy photos to take but they're so yeah. beautiful it was really it was really worth it. Yeah, I personally have not walked on metal grates with heels very often, <laughs> so it was a little bit difficult to do, especially for someone who is not well trained in heels as it is. Uh, but <laughs> we, we, did, made, we, we made it very well. well. <laughs> yeah, and the weather on the day of our anniversary somehow was gorgeous Amazing. and sunny, cold because it's December, but it was beautiful, just like it was on our wedding day. And every anniversary we've had since our wedding day has been rainy and gray and disgusting and the fact that the sun came out this year was was really cool. After we took the photos on the staircase, we walked out into the city a little bit more and we had a bottle of champagne that Katie found. Yes. It was the same champagne that we had on our wedding day, so that was extra special. I had always wanted to take a photo like spraying champagne in the street. I just always wanted to do that. I mean, who doesn't, <laughs> who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> and so this was like definitely the time to do it. Sarah found the perfect spot. The yeah. sun was peeking around the corner of a building and we had an entire street all to ourselves. Yeah, we popped that champagne, made it spray, <laughs> and got the most beautiful photo. And still had tons of champagne left to drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a win-win. <laughs> All in all, I could not have asked for a more amazing anniversary and you did everything so incredibly well. <laughs> you made it so special, so thank you. It couldn't have gone any better. It really couldn't have. And I'm just so happy that we can now finally talk about it and share about it. And I'm really excited to officially change my name and there's lots to talk about with that as well about why I decided to five years later and just what it means for us and how I came to that decision and all of that and I think we'll save that for another video but right now we're just celebrating and yeah yeah <laughs> and you can call us the Burlton family yes Theo <laughs> the Burlton family You may have seen some of the photos of our anniversary already, so this is a bit of the story behind those photos, and we're really happy to share that with you. So thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to us to be able to share these personal milestones and important moments from our lives with you, and we really appreciate all the support that we've been getting, and it feels like you're all celebrating with us, and it means a lot. 
Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for a new video next week.